on this episode. In Japan, they call it the salary man's coffin. Toyota Pro Box. I bought one, and I need to explain why. We're out here today on the Hakone Turnpike. It's a paid for private road uh, about two hours from Tokyo that's very popular on the weekends for people to cruise around in, in supercars and whatnot. We're here today on a weekday in the rain with this. A while ago I was watching videos on YouTube and one of them was an option video about a Toyota and its sister car, the Succeed, one make race at Ebisu Circuit. And at one point in the video the announcer said the word Pro Suck. In Japanese, they'll often take two words and cram them together to make it a bit shorter to say. For example, the actor Kimura Takuya, they say Kimutaku. Or the Japanese name for Animal Crossing is uh, Atsume Dobutsu no Mori. They just say Atsumori. So the sister cars Pro Box and Succeed are Pro Suck. And I thought it was kind of funny, so I made some Instagram videos just sort of with that as the punchline. And it ended up getting a really good response. Then we went to Techno Pro Spirits and drove the tuned one that they have there, and that was hilarious. So then I made a YouTube video to explain the joke once again, and it did pretty well. It feels like I cracked some sort of YouTube code, like make a video about an obscure cheap car, and then use the money from that YouTube video to actually buy that car, which is what I did. So it's my job today to convince you that this was a good idea to buy. So first question, is it fast? It's uh, not that fast. Normally the view from this road and from Pakone is beautiful. You can sort of see it, but it's still kind of moody and nice. Well, I was hoping to show you a nice view today to sort of make up for the looks of this car, but look, we'll go to the next location and have a bit more of a talk about it. We're at the top of the turnpike now. That's the Sky Lounge up there. People who watch Initial D will probably recognize that. And what I'd like to show you today is this glorious view of Mount Fuji. What do you think? This is how it's meant to look. Look, there's Mount Fuji there. There's Ashinoko, a big lake up here in Hakone, but yeah, not today. Now look, here's your Instagram spot, right, Hakone, so normally Mount Fuji will be right behind there, you know, you can swing on the swing and get your Instagram video. Look, someone lost their hat, that looks like, uh, that looks like an influencer's hat. And look, there's a little a mount here to put your smartphone on to take the photo. <laughs> If we could see it. Yeah, it's a shame. So you might be thinking, well, why come to a road that is full of supercars on the weekends? Why come to such a majestic location? I mean, if you could see it with a car that looks that boring. Well, here's the thing. The Pro Box is probably the most important car in Japan. Why is that? Well, it's the car that every office worker drives. It's the car that every company rep drives. If somebody's working and they need to go somewhere, you know, for their company, they're in a pro box. Pro boxes move this country in the same way as the transit van over in the UK or the Ford F-150 in Texas. You know, it's the working car. It's the car that moves the country. This is it. I'm being serious. So in the same way that salarymen are working, we're working today too. And we're away from the office. You know, we're out in the field on location. So we need to get something to eat, but we don't have time to go to a restaurant or something like that. We have to eat in the car. You'd think being here in Hakone, I'd go to one of the restaurants, but no, we're gonna sit here in the car have cup noodles and look at the lovely scenery of Lake Ashi. Because what's the point of having a table if you're not going to use it? Alright, 
all right, brakes over. Now, another cool thing about this is this little slot here, which holds the parking pass. So, you know, as a salesman, you'll be going in uh, paid parking lots quite a lot. And I don't know why it still has one of these, but a little coin holder, I guess, for getting a coffee for the drive back home, which is what I'm going to do. Where's the vending machine? There's one there. And there's one there. All right, wouldn't be Japan if there weren't like always at least two within view. Black coffee. So you might be thinking, okay, we get it. You're doing a salaryman cosplay, haha, -ha, funny meme car. That's not the only reason I bought the Pro Box. Remember, it's a working car. And now that we have a workshop, we need a car as a workshop car. Now the options when it comes to that sort of thing in you know the drifting world is something like a high ace van, which can carry a lot of stuff, or you know, something small like a K van. Well, high ace is a little bit out of my budget right now, and I don't really need anything that extreme. And K vans, with the height I am and the length of my legs, I just don't like them. I don't fit in them very well, and they don't handle expressways very well either. I'm actually out here today at D1 Lights, and I'm here because I'm part of a team, sort of. If you've been into drifting for a while, you've probably seen this name, Uras. Uh, which means monkey backwards in Japanese. The boss of Uras, Nomakin, was in D1 Grand Prix since the very beginning. And now his son, Nomakin Jr., uh, who is called Keiichi, is driving here in D1 Lights. And like some other drivers do these days, he has a supporters program where anyone who is a fan can pay a certain amount of money and get stuff like merch and things like that. And I was kind of interested to see how it worked, so I did it. Now the package that I have also means that I get a sticker on the car. So I'm on the C pillar here. So these are also people supporting as well. I think these two are also YouTubers. All right, and we got him here. You do all my info. You do all my info. Don't get to the arcade. ま、すぐかっこよくなる。簡単に安くてかっこよくなる。簡単に安くてかっこよくなる。はい。あとね、荷物いっぱい積む。やっぱり。荷物いっぱい積む。そして、え、バン。バンなので、自費が安い。There you go. So it's the not only is it, you know, it's the backbone of the Japanese economy. It's also the drift drivers uh, you know, car of choice when they go to work. You can carry stuff in it. It looks cool. It's cheap, right? We want to spend all our money on this sort of stuff. So I've been driving the Pro Box for about three or four days now, and there's something interesting I've noticed about it. You know when you put into your destination, into your navigation, and it gives you a arrival time, and it's usually pretty accurate? Well, in this thing, I've been arriving 10, 15 minutes earlier every time, and that never happened like in my van or any other car. So after driving it for a few days, I need to show you the good and bad points that I've uh, found on this car. So of course, the good points. Uh, it's small, it's light, it honestly feels like driving a car from the 1980s. It's really simple, you know, the switches on the air kind of mechanical, not electric. Of course it has the table, 10 kilogram limit. And it has this over here. Now just say you're a businessman and you need to write down an order, or well, the pen goes in here. Now. I have my Ultra Deluxe Luxury GR Gazoo Racing Pen. It doesn't fit. I'm guessing they assumed that uh, people would not have you know, the pens with the nice grip on them. It's a bit too small for that. Also, this coin holder is terrible. As, uh, as the uh, song goes, uh, my money jiggle jiggles. So it just makes rattling noises when you're driving around. For the gauges, it's speed only. So we'll need to get a tachometer. AM FM radio. That's it, with one speaker. That's the one speaker right there. Uh, it does have the grill over there, but as you can see in the doors, like there's no 
speakers in the doors or in the back. It's just the one speaker. It's not a... It's not exactly good. It also came with this amazing Panasonic Gorilla navigation. Uh, it has a built-in TV as well. So this sticker, non-smoking car. There's one there too. So it probably was driven by a few different people. And if you look down here, it says Nigosha, which means car number two. So whatever company this belonged to in the past, they had at least two of them. The stuff in here, what? What is this? It's like a conduit. Oh, this is that stuff you run wires through when it goes in the floor. What is this? Ugh. Oh, this is like a wiring runner. It's um, it screws together and like you, you stick this like through walls and you pull it through and it runs wires. Okay, so maybe this belonged to a company that did like network cabling or something like that? It's a little homemade uh, box and it's, it's held on there with just wire. That's how it's held on. Yeah, it might, uh, might not need that. Isobase seismic isolation platform. It's like something for mounting servers on, I guess, uh, if you have earthquakes. So this car used to belong to a company that did like network cabling and uh, server installation and something like that. Uh, they've installed a little thing here to stop stuff from slipping out. And that's just screwed on. It's kind of dirty, but at least it wasn't like building tools, you know, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it's going to need a bit of a bit of a detail. I have something else here that proves this car is an enthusiast car. The Pro Box and Succeed Hyper Rev magazine. Now just to prove I haven't been making it up, Puro Saku. This says Pro Suck. So the whole Pro Suck joke, it's real. There it says it right there. Pro Suck. Pro Suck Custom. Now, back in the day, Hyper Rev was the magazine to get because uh, it was too hard to find information on the internet on how to modify you know, your favorite car. So there's magazines uh, for basically every major enthusiast car in Japan. You see, this is the style that a lot of them do though, this sort of jacked up, sort of faux off-road look. I don't know, yeah look, it looks cool, but this is not, uh, not my style. Uh, yeah, here's what we wanna see. Look, racing, All right, Pro Box, Succeed one make race Japan Pro Box Succeed Championship. Okay, is the Techno Pro Spirits one that we drove? Okay, right here's one that's turbo because it's the same engine as the Vitz, so you can use the uh, the Vitz turbo in these things. I don't know if we'll go turbo yet. We'll start off simple. There you go. So proof that this is an enthusiast car. So of course that means we need to start modifying it and I think the first thing I want to modify is probably the easiest thing of all, the shift knob. It's a nice bonus too, an expired uh, air freshener. It smells like shampoo. So I don't like this knob, it's too small. We're gonna change it out for something else. So I got on the internet and I found some currently popular shift knobs. All right, here's the first one. It's like driving a truck. Uh oh, I found a problem with it. If you're gonna be parked, you can't open the table all the way. I guess you have, to, you have to put it in second when you park instead of in first. It's like kung fu training. Alright, I don't know about this one. I found another one and apparently this is the most popular shift knob uh, right now. It's a bit better. I think one problem with these plastic ones is 
they're kind of vibrate -y, like the vibration from the road you know, comes through the shift knob a bit too much so I don't know it seems to be a popular shape online I don't know why there's probably some reason all right instead of those what I'm gonna do is I have a leftover JSP shift knob from the beans so we're gonna use that instead so we have the red and the white ones it's summer right now, so the shift knob gets a bit hot, so I won't use the metal one, I'll use the Delrin one. There we go. There we go. That's nice. You're all hoping I'd use the vibrator one, weren't you? Thank you once again, JSP Fab, for the parts. So there you go, Toyota Pro Box. Don't let your memes be dreams. Make them a reality. So what's the plans for this? Well, lowering it is a good start. We need to lower it, we need to put some brake pads on it, I think is important. We will go to a track day. I think the first one's probably going to be here at Nico Circuit uh, at a Spirits track day. So we'll see what happens. In any case, it's a useful car to have. Uh, it means I don't have to keep using my family car to carry stuff around and make it all dirty. Like the previous uh, Tanos I had ended up stinking like automatic transmission fluid and tires. Thanks once again to all the people on Patreon who get to see the videos early and help me do stuff like this. Uh, if you'd like to join, the link is down below. Also, I recommend watching the other Pro Box video if you haven't seen that as well. And as always, thanks for watching. See you next time. So the next thing we need to do is work out a theme for it. Like, should it look like an old touring car, like a Japan touring car from the 90s, or... It does need an exhaust.